Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? We have been learning about patterns, right? Today, let's talk about symmetry. Look at these images given here. The first one, you can see a heart. We can see a line is going through the center. See, what if I'm folding or dividing this heart along this line? See, if I fold or divide this shape along this line, I'll get two equal halves, which look exactly the same. And these two halves will be like mirror images, right? The left and right side of this image will look exactly the same if I cut or fold this image along this line here. Look at the second image. You can see the image of a butterfly here. And see this line going through the middle? If I fold or cut this image along this line, I'll get two equal halves or identical halves. And these halves will look exactly the same, like mirror images, right? And what about this square? You can see four lines that can be drawn through the square. So that if you fold or cut the square along these four lines, you'll get two identical halves every time. If I fold this square along this line, you'll get two identical halves, one on left and the other on right. And if I fold this square along this horizontal line, you'll get two identical halves, one on top, the other on bottom. And you can see two diagonals here. If I fold or cut this square along these diagonals, I'll get two identical halves, which are triangles. Clear? So, when a shape or object can be folded or divided into identical halves or mirror images along a line, we say that object or shape has symmetry. Or we say that object or shape is symmetrical. Now, here you can see one more example. Look at the first figure. We can see a line going here, a vertical line. If I fold or cut this figure along this line, I'll get two identical halves, one on the left and the other on the right. And what about this picture here? See, the picture seems to be tilted a bit. So if I cut or fold this figure along this line, will I get two equal halves or identical halves? No. The parts of this picture will not look the same. It will look different. So the first one we can say is a symmetrical figure and the second one we can say is an asymmetrical figure. So what do you mean by asymmetrical figure? See, when a shape or object cannot be divided or folded into identical halves or mirror images along a line, we say that shape or object is asymmetrical or it has asymmetry. Clear? Now, you can see in the previous example, lines going through the images which can divide the given image into identical halves. So this line that can divide the images into identical halves is called the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry or the mirror line. So here you have one mirror line or line of symmetry. Here also you have one line of symmetry but in the case of a square you can have four lines of symmetry. So it is possible that an object or shape can have more than one line of symmetry. Hope you are clear with this. Now you can see symmetry all around in nature. We can see a few examples here in a butterfly, in a flower, in the face of an animal, even the human body is considered to be symmetrical on the left and right sides. Here you can see a few more examples. You can see symmetry in the plant and animal world in nature around us. You can also find symmetrical patterns in man-made things such as these structures that you can see here. Here you can see the Eiffel Tower in Paris where you can see a few symmetrical patterns or designs. Here also you can see a symmetrical structure. Now, this is the Taj Mahal. All of you know the Taj Mahal. 
the Taj Mahal is considered to be one of the most symmetrical structure ever to be built in history. You can find about more historical monuments or building which are perfect examples of symmetrical structures. You can do a research on such structures online with the help of your parents. It would be a very interesting activity to do today. So children, you have to go to the topic symmetry which is in page number 113 of your textbook. Then, like I said before, you can find about more symmetrical structures all around the world with the help of your parents. And like I said before, children, you can find about more symmetrical structures built all around the world over the internet with the help of your parents. You can do this as an activity for the day. And also, there is an exercise given in the same page, 113, exercise 8.4. You have to complete that exercise as well. So that's all for today, children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.